Hey, what's up, Algonauts? Well, the Algorand Twitterverse is a buzz, or should I say a Twitter, about the new governance token bank, which is Algify's governance token that they just released now. What is this token? How do you get it? And what do the tokenomics look like? Well, we're going to look at that on today's Frugal BC. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the PC. We've got another show for you today, and we are talking about Bank. So Bank is the governance token of AlgoFi, and I'm going to show you how to get it, because actually, if you did anything with AlgoFi ever, apparently, because I, I did a video way back in the day on AlgoFi a long, long time ago, and I just never really came back to it. I just, just didn't really have a lot of interest in it, but I've had a little bit of Algo on it, and uh, it turns out I got some Bank in my wallet. So we're going we're gonna to look at that. I'm going to lock it live on the on the show which i guess won't be live because you'll be watching it later and then we're going to look at the tokenomics of this thing and kind of how it works and how a little bit about how the voting works so we're going to get dive into that before we do that if you don't mind hitting that uh subscribe button you know so you can see all our content yeah, as you know we do the experiment we try it out we'll let you know how it goes whether that's good bad or in, somewhere in between i don't do hype I just tell you how it is. That's that's my whole goal on the channel. And uh, a lot of you guys appreciate that. I appreciate everyone subscribing so far. But enough about that. Oh, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button. No, enough about that. <laughs> uh, you know, we got to feed the algorithms. They like that. So uh, let's look at Bank, in fact. So they just released this token pretty recently. And uh, as you can see, it's already up to almost two cents. I think it was actually up two cents a little while ago. Uh, let's look at the chart. You can see that's a big candle. That's a big green candle. And uh, then I think it split off. I wonder if I could change the... Does that help us at all? Yeah. I mean, just a huge, just a huge candle. And then it kind of, uh, kind of evened off to about 0.05 of an Algorand, like I said, sitting at about 0 0.016. And I'm recording this Wednesday evening. In the morning, it was closer to two cents. So very interesting. So I've been digging into the tokenomics of what makes a good tokenomic. And we're going to go about how we're, we're, I'm working backwards a little bit. I'm going to start with the tokenomics. And uh, actually, you know what, we're going to come, we're going to come back to this. Here's if you go to AlgoFi, this is what you're going to see. And you're going to see the bank airdrop available to claim and I have apparently 202 bank in my wallet already. So I've got about was that about three bucks, three bucks or so worth of bank? Didn't do anything for it, so that's cool. And then there's a bonus that's locked for six months of another 67 bank. And now you're voting for power down here. This will allow you to vote on proposals and the AlgoFi DAO. It just means that people are going to put proposals on how AlgoFi sh should work. And then you can tell them, yep, cool, I want to do that, or nope, I sure don't. Well, let's just go ahead and claim and see how that works. I like to do these on the air because a lot of times stuff doesn't work very well. And then you can watch what goes wrong and how I fix it so that you can, you can not have to do, deal with that when you go into it. Now, it's possible a lot of you are already gone here and looked at it. We are going to get into the tokenomics too. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to see. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess apparently that was all, um, yeah, all in there. Okay. Lock them out. So I have... So according to this, there are 56 million bank locked already, and global voting power is 66 million V Bank. Not sure why that now. Now V Bank is just the the token that signifies voting power. It's not an actual token token, as I understand it. Uh, not sure why those two numbers would be different because it's I believe it's a one to one, but I'm not really sure. So according to this right now, I have. 67 bank locked. So that gives me 33.29 V bank. So half of that, I guess, is voting power. Still not sure what that's all about or how, if, I, if I've got half of that, maybe it's because you can extend. That does nothing. I uh, see. So the longer you lock it in, it looks like the longer your V bank. So of course, I could have like figured if you go, go by as much as four years, you get way more voting power. That's a little bit different than governance, uh, on Algorand governance, right? Because, you know, it's it's not just a one to one. You could, you could lock it in, and you could lock it in for a longer time and get more voting power. 
and there's already some on here, believe it or not. Uh, you can also create proposals, by the way. Uh, one about adding lofty tokens, one about launching a USDC algo lending pool, and a bank emissions distribution. So as you can see, they're basically starting you off with, hey, here's here's a six month lock. Uh, that's that's what we want you to vote. And then we got 200 extra. And I don't know what everyone else is getting. I, probably people got a lot more, I would imagine, because I imagine it was how much you have in the AlgoFi system, and I do not have very much at all. But I have not done anything with governance on AlgoFi, just to be clear. So this has nothing to do with that. Um, it's just, I just had some money that I put in as an experiment. Well, let's see what happens if I pull that up. So there's a little thing. Uh, they tell you, this is one thing I actually don't like. I don't like when they tell you the score before it happens. The reason why is there's a reason why vote they try to keep that information out of out of uh, traditional voting is because people tend to vote for the winning side, so it's not necessarily a pure uh, vote whether for you know or for or against in this case. So something uh, you know they, they do this in algorithm governance too, and I actually think it's a bad policy. But that's just my opinion. That's just for me. That's just me putting my journalism hat on and, and having gone through. Uh, haven't gone through voting and learned a lot about voting from that. So let's go see if there's anything interesting. Well, I don't know. Why don't we just, uh, they're against it. Interesting. I'm just going to say four. I'm going to be a, normally I try not to tell you guys my votes on here, but just I'm pro lofty, not happy about their new marketplace. They have not fixed that yet, but what the heck? I like it. Let's do it. Probably won't win. Sending the transaction. Let's see if it, well, I mean, it's not going to change from 4.19, but there I voted. I successfully voted. Okay, cool. All right, enough about that. Why don't we get to the, I'm going to back up a little bit. So we look at a little bit about the uh, tokenomics here. And there are going to be a total of 5 billion of these tokens. And just a little bit over half, 51% is going to go to the community. 25% going to core developers. I think that's pretty common uh, with almost 10% to the seed investors, about 3% to private sale investors. And what they do is they have, uh, so this is kind of, this is kind of how it's going to, going to uh, divest over the years. So 12, you know, 12.5% in the first year is going to go to the community. I can tell you that that is not out yet. In fact, the total, the total that's going to go out is going to be 21% by the end of the year. And so I tell you we're not there yet, and I'll show you all how I know that in a minute. But you can see these distributions are pretty high. All the all the investors, I, I actually would like to see these spread out. I, I know they spread it out to four years, but what's going to happen is in years five to six, because look at look at their um, this is their divestment schedule. So it's starting from like 12.5%, you know, double digits. And then they're releasing less and less. It's actually geometrical over time, starting with kind of year three and down. Uh, so we're losing, you know, it's kind of have, looks like it's basically having or a little bit more than that to the point like by year 10, there's barely anything being. And as they say, like, yeah, it, technically the the distrib community distributions will just keep going. It'll just be teeny, teeny, tiny. But, you know, they just they figure it all ten. you know, by that point, it's so minuscule. And I understand that. Um, so what, what you're going to see happen is this is going to be fairly deflationary in the beginning because I don't know if that's quite the right term, but you're not going to see big price action because they're just going to be pumping this token in, you know, pumping in quite a bit into the community. A lot of it's going to come out in this first five years. And then what you might see is you might see the price start going up, assuming there's enough demand because AlgoFi has kept everyone's attention after five years. So, so assuming that AlgoFi is strong, you will see, yeah, you'll see, you can see in this, this year period, this, the price really going up on something like bank. So let's look at, uh, let's look at Vestige. So right now, 5% is out. So there's a lot more that's going to be released this year. Uh, total, like I said, total supply is five billion. So, what you'd expect with the total market cap eventually would be when all the tokens are out, it'd be eighty-five, about eighty-five million. Right now, it's at a four million market cap, so that makes sense. 
you can see the price changed a little bit, actually went up a little bit. It's at 0 0.017 right now. Uh, you can get bank, by the way. You don't have to do anything with Algo 5 if you want to invest in bank. And I'm not saying you should or shouldn't. But if you're interested, you can get it on Tiny Man. And uh, I mentioned there's some other DEXs as well. But as you know, I primarily use Tiny Man. So that's the one I'm, I'm interested in. That's where you'll find it. I think I think you could see this price go up over time. I wouldn't expect I, I wouldn't I wouldn't think much about the price. You're going to see probably a lot of fluctuations in the early days could be because they're going to be pumping this token into the market. So I wouldn't expect anything spectacular from it until several years down the road. Now, again, you know, tokenomics is not an exact science, and anything could happen. It could end up really pumping, but right now they're dumping a lot in and there's two factors that of course there's supply and there's demand so it kind of depends on the demand for this right now the demand is really strong because everyone's talking about it but it kind of depends on how invested people are about voting for algofi so i'll tell you that i'm just not that excited to vote for things in general when it comes to this stuff i know that's probably puts me in the minority and you know it might not make it kind of goes against some of the crypto ethos. I know we're all supposed to want to vote on all this stuff and decentralization and blah, blah, blah. But I don't necessarily, I don't care that much about AlgoFi in the first place. So I just don't know if I care that much about voting. But uh, I figured I'd give Lefty a, a boost. I don't like the way they're doing that with showing the vote. They shouldn't, they shouldn't show how the, the vote is going because that, that that influences people. So early movers will have the a, a unfair, strong um voting presence because you know if you're voting early you can move that needle early and then everyone else will follow suit not that everyone will it's it's not like everyone decides to but it definitely has an impact and it's something i see with algorithm governance too and i don't think they should do it you shouldn't know how the vote is going until afterwards but think about twitter polls they don't show the vote until after you vote it why do they do that because it's a more genuine vote so um, i guess if you're like really into voting and you really want to have a voice in the platform then that's great. But, you know, I just think like, like Lofty, for instance, you know, I'm they're They're always sending me votes on what to do with properties. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> just as long as it keeps making me money, just, just you guys are the property man. You're the experts. I don't know anything about managing property. Why are you asking me? Uh, lately, I just haven't been voting on them. I'm like, I don't care. Just, I, I just, I want this to be hands off. That's the whole point. And I'm not owning actual real estate because I don't want to deal with the issues. So you guys deal with the issues. I guess it's good to have the option, but I'd rather just not be bothered with it, to be frank. Well, I guess uh, I'll just ask you guys, you know, what do you think about AlgoFi? What do you think about Bank? Are you excited about its future? Uh, are you going to be doing a lot of locking or are you just going to kind of trade it off? I'm curious what you think. Leave me in the comments below. As always, I'm Frugal BC. Thanks for watching and hope you guys are staying safe out there. Spend your money wisely, invest wisely. And as always, I'll see you in the future.